Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, by the Moonchild Tarot. I'm Becky and I'm here to do your general reading for the second half of January 2019. <coughs> this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Sagittarius. Alright, before I, um, while I was doing the pre-shuffle for all the cards, uh, the song Young Blood" by The Naked and Famous came to head. Um, I was actually listening to it on Spotify when I was shuffling your cards, and the lyrics actually caught my attention. So, check out that song. It's called Young Blood by The Naked and Famous. Check out those lyrics too, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. Also, Sagittarius, I do offer extended of this reading. So, if this reading resonates 100%, um, or you feel guided to... The information as far as getting the extension of this reading or the extended of this reading is down below in the description box, okay? So, let's go ahead and move on, move forward. So, we have Three of Wands, followed by the Page of Wands, and then Five of Pentacles. Under the Three of Wands, we have the Lovers. Under the Page of Wands, we have the Three of Pentacles. Under the Five of Pentacles, we have the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy, King of Pentacles. So, you got money on your mind, and your mind on your money. Alright, this could also be you uh, could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, a Gemini specifically, uh, another fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, or an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. All right, so this King of Pentacles could be a anybody, honestly, and this person could be very financially uh, secure, financially abundant, or this could be you, Sagittarius, thinking about how to become financially abundant, financially secure. All right, so three of one, page of one, five of Pentacles. Um, I'm feeling this is somebody turn their back on you or you turn your back on somebody, but it's like this person inspires you or you inspire them, but there's like no communication, right? Uh, the lovers, three of pentacles and page of swords. Um, there is definitely a big decision that needs to be made. Okay. This could also be about love. In a relationship that you're waiting on somebody um, could be in a possible third party situation but this person definitely makes you feel like very spontaneous very young very fire there's a lot of passion between you two and it's like you two are kind of on the same page though you're not communicating you two are on the same page with two pages out on the grid all right and how i'm feeling this too is both of you are very young you know very light-hearted because pages are very light-hearted they're learning. That's why they're pages. All right. Um, so it could be a need to go to school or need to uh, contact some type of organization to get some more information um, in regards to how you want to build your solid foundation. All right. Because that five of pentacles could be also that you are basically homeless or in need of finances, in need of financial security. All right. <coughs> So, moving on, moving forward. All right, and the only major arcana I see out here is the lovers. So, it's either a choice or this is in regards to love. All right? So, you're waiting on your lover. So, clarifying the three of wands and the lovers is the two of pentacles. So, trying to balance some time, some energy. What are you putting your energy towards? What is it that you're juggling? What are the two things that you've narrowed it down to and then you're just waiting for either some type of communication <coughs> um, or you're waiting for a decision to be made, Okay. So, to um, the Page of Wands and the Three of Pentacles is being clarified by the Page of Wands, or the Nine of Wands, I'm sorry. So, in regards to this, this new endeavor, in regards to either a third-party situation or this situation where you're trying to build a solid structure or foundation, um, there are 
there are blockages. You like you've been through the battle with this this situation, all right? Um, you've been wounded, you've been hurt, but you still have that fight left in you. This is a number nine, which is a level of completion. So just being very guarded into this um, as it as it evolves or revolves around something that is very inspiring, very creative, and brings zest uh, in your life. Like this is chemistry or passion, something that you really love to do, all right? So five of pentacles and the page of swords. The like somebody's being left out of the code and needing to gather information or somebody's being left out of the code and they want to communicate. Somebody wants to communicate. Somebody wants to um, talk to you, all right? But what I'm also getting to is um, with this whole spread, it's like somebody's watching you. You might be down in the cold, but you're doing something and it's lighting, it's catching fire. So the movie, um, Catching Fire, um, Mockingbird, you know, the, uh, the Hunger Games series, Catching Fire is what's coming to head on my, um, to my head. Anyways, so it's like going from this Five of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, needing to gather information, needing to plan out something, or needing to even go to school to learn about something. Some research is going to happen. Also, this could be a very uh, younger um, air sign or a child. Um, there might be two children involved, an air sign and a fire sign, or somebody that um, an air sign or a fire sign has children. Um maybe children of the air sign or the fire sign, okay? Um, but it's like being left out in the cold, you can gather some more information, and it's being clarified by the Two of Cups. So if there was communication that has been um, not happening, there's somebody that definitely wants to communicate, and it's in regards to this relationship or this partnership, whatever shit that you're waiting for with that Three of Wands, okay? Um... Let's see. So we have two of pentacles, nine of wands, two of cups, two, nine, two. So weighing out some option or, you know, uh, trying to balance some type of time, being wounded. Um, but it's like, this person really does care about you. So, um, the advice here would be to let the walls down. All right? If you really love them, let the walls down. So, on the bottom of the deck, we have four of wands. So, it's in regards to a relationship or a home situation, okay? So, what I'm seeing is, like, a decision like there's a decision or some options being weighed out okay i could do this or i could do this it's in regards to a home situation or a relationship okay but there's definitely some wounding that's been happening walls need to come down um because again this is something that you desire this is something brand new and something that you desire and it's like ooh excitement right and there's people that wants to work with you or this person wants to work with you and this person is also what I'm feeling is you two are on the same page so both of you have these woundings that you need to release and heal maybe even talk about with each other okay sharing and that's what I'm getting with that two of cups all right next layer so the two of pentacles and the nine of wands is being clarified by the ace of wands. So that's good. So it's like a brand new beginning after the, the, the completion of all these battles, all these woundings that you have been through. It's like you drop it and it just goes back down to one, which is that passion, that fire, that flare. So something new coming in, a new opportunity, a new zest for life, something that's going to be awesome, all right? This could also be um, what I'm seeing too with the page of wands and the ace of wands and the lovers is that there is going to be some amazing sex going on here and it's like both of you feel the same way <laughs> at the end, okay? So... <clears throat> Clarifying the Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups is the star. So you'll be dealing with an Aquarius. I have Aquarius in your chart. 
But whatever this is, this is a wish come true. So a new passionate beginning, a new creative beginning, right? Because a wish has been granted. This is something that has been divinely guided, divinely orchestrated. And you will see signs and synchronicities. You will start feeling things that you've never felt. Um, your intuition is going to be very much at its high point. Um, what I'm also getting is that, that the, uh, Leo full moon lunar eclipse is definitely going to open you up because what it's doing is it's taking out all the old and putting it, placing it with something new. Okay. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy for layer three is the queen of wands. So knowing what you, <clears throat> excuse me, knowing what you want going for it, being bold, brave, and courageous, being that fiery queen, that seductress, even what did I tell you about sex? There's a lot of sex that's going on. Somebody's going to feel how you feel through the act of sex. Um, or some type of creative way that you do to express yourself. Writing a poem, um, possibly even writing a page, four-page letter, stuffing it in a bottle. This is what I was thinking of, okay? Stuffing it in a bottle and then presenting it to your loved one um, that you have these emotions for, right? So in order for them, if like they're ready to read your letter, they will break the glass. If they're not ready to read it, then it will be stuck, stuck in the bottle. All right. So in a sense, it's like release. It, it, the option is yours to release the emotions or to not. But you've put it on paper. You've put it in a place where it is easily accessible. It just depends on if they want to take that leap of faith and break the bottle. All right, so the bottom of our, the overall, what it boils down to, Sagittarius, it is Ten of Cups. Something happy. It's like big, happy changes. That's what I'm feeling. Like, I swear, I feel like that card is going to come out. Big, happy changes. All right, bottom of the deck and the overall energy is justice. Something finally balanced out. A karmic lesson has been completed. Things work out. The way that they should, things go into balance. Now, this could also be in regards to a divorce. A divorce could be happening or something in regards to a legal situation. Or you could just be thinking or dealing with a Libra. Okay? So, bottoms of the deck. King of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Queen of Wands. And Justice. So, the major arcana being Justice. Things happening. Um... Things balancing out, things working out, um, everybody's happy pretty much in regards to a home situation, abundance, and passions and desires. So knowing what you want, going for it, taking those practical steps and actions to manifest it in the here and now in regards to a relationship or in a home situation. And you could be definitely signing some legal documents in regards to the home situation with that justice card here, okay? So, we're going to pull out two Angel Answers cards, and then we're going to close this out, and then we'll go into the extended. So, the first card out says, not the right time. So, it's not the right time yet. Things are still working out in your favor. Um, things have to be set into place, okay? And then it says, recovery. So, recovering from this, it could be harsh communication, recovering from this lack of feeling... Um, like in need of something, um, and then recovering from putting your walls up. You had put your walls up because you were hurt. Somebody hurt you. So needing to recover from that, all right? And with the star here, it's like, it's, it's, this is what's supposed to happen, and this is an opportunity for you to heal. All right, so that is what I have for you, lovies. I hope that this message resonated. Check out that song, Young Blood" by The Naked and Famous. And um, if this message resonated, please hit that thumbs up and comment down below or comment down below. Um, let's see what else. Again, um, if this does not resonate, then I may not be the reader for you. Or um, check back towards the end of the month to see if it resonates then. Remember that time is fluid, energy is fluid. Uh, time is an illusion and energy is fluid all right um so if it still does not resonate and you would like a personal reading from me because you like the way that i read um by all means 
check out that description box and hit me up for some services or service and I will uh, get back to you within 24 to 48 hours of me responding to you okay thank you so much you guys for um, supporting my channel and checking out my readings I hope that this helps you and sending much love and light Mwah. namaste